back to my channel. Thanks to the new subscribers. Um, it has almost been a year since I've graduated from Coding Dojo. So I was like, hey, let me come up on here and give y'all like a like a little review of where I've been for a year. I mean, like what I've been, you know, going through for a full year. Um, wow. Let's get into it, right? Oh, okay, so I graduated Coding Dojo. It's a coding boot camp, if you don't know, here in Dallas, Texas. And I graduated July 1st of 2016 it is now 2017 um, when I'm shooting this it'll be a day before but hey when it gets to be on the interwebs it will be well past over a year so I'm excited because I want to share with you where I've been like what's been going on so after I graduated coding dojo I hit it hard to the pavement I was grinding trying to find me a job that's what happened. That's what you got to do. So, um, I, I went out there to try to find me a job. I had tons of interviews and uh, had some, you know, great companies, you know, looking out for me, trying to hire me. But um, ultimately, none of those worked out. So, um, I wound up taking a job as a business systems analyst for a little bit. And when I finally got this job, it was in. I want to say it was the end of September but if it's not then I'll post the correct date up here somewhere because I don't remember so it, you know it was around that time I got that job and I was like oh my gosh I'm finally going to work and it was just to me it was like I could finally rest easy but if you've watched my coding journey or, or my um Oh, a journey into tech videos then you know that didn't last very long <laughs> and I will link those up here in the the cards as well if you want to check that out or up here whichever way it's gonna be I'll link it um, but yeah if you want to check that out I definitely recommend it it's kind of like a journey of my whole story so if you want to sit through that I I say do it <laughs> uh, anyways so I got that business systems analyst job and I was like, this is it. I'm going to be here for a little bit. And I knew it wasn't coding, but I knew that um, they were especially excited about my skill set. And I was excited to kind of try something different. So <laughs> I was like, why not? And of course it didn't work out. So fast forward to January. <laughs> the end of January, I put in my notice to leave that job. And I started, and this is January 2017 that I'm talking about. Um, and I started teaching as an instructor at Coaching Studios. So, which is, um, you know, where I'll be working for a few more days. Uh, but anyways, I decided to journey into teaching. And the main reason I wanted to do that was a few things. I knew that if I was teaching code, I would be getting more exposure to code. And, um, you know, I knew also that I would be learning while I taught others so I was like double bonus <laughs> and then the other thing was that um, I would have more time this was gonna be a part-time job it still is but uh, it was a part-time job for me and um, I knew that I would have more time not like outrageous amount of time but I would have more time to be able to focus on coding and to study it more make more projects and just um, be able to follow more tutorials and do more things like that that I actually enjoy doing which I couldn't do at the business systems analyst job so um, I I think I made the, the, the best decision for me at that point and you could only do what's right for yourself but I think I made the best decision for myself at that point because since I got started uh, with that job in February it was at the beginning of February that I got, you know, started um, going out and shadowing and learning and about it. Um, and um, yeah, since then it's been like learning and having more time to, um, you know, code. Like 
I want to do, like I like to do, like I know that I'm, I'm good at that. I know that that's what I want to do. So it's like, I made the, made the right decision. And I realized I made the right decision a couple weeks into it. I was like, this is gonna be good. So um, I was excited about it. Now, I'm about to start um, an actual job as a developer. So I'm super excited about that. And um, it's like, it's like a breath of fresh air. I'm excited. I'm nervous. I've been thinking about it and, and I've been kind of fighting with myself. I'm like, oh no, what about this? And what about that? And I think I'm more scaring myself because it took me so long to get to this point of having a job as a developer. So I can't really say like how great the life is, is, is as a developer after one year at a coding boot camp. Unfortunately for me and my story, I cannot tell you that. But uh, what I can tell you is that I will be documenting, like, you know, the f especially the first few weeks of this new job and not, you know, telling y'all all, all the things, just documenting the journey of maybe issues I had to go through and getting acclimated at this new position. So that's what I will be sharing. So I can honestly say like a year later after the coding boot camp, I'm gonna finally be able to experience what it's like to be a developer and um i'm thrilled about that and i'm super excited it's been a long time coming i've been telling this to everybody it's like it's been a long time coming for me and um i'm excited and i'm ready for this new journey to begin and i know it's not gonna be perfect i know that there's gonna be situations where i'm gonna have moments of weaknesses moments where I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Cower in a corner and <laughs> things like that. But I'm excited because this is what I've been wanting to do for so long. And this is where it starts and for me and my life. So um, I could honestly say that a year after, I'm feeling pretty good. Uh, it was touch and go in the beginning. Uh, but I would like to say to you, if you are still learning, if you are... Um, at a coding boot camp, if you are, um, even if you're a developer, you've been out in the field, <laughs> you know that you're constantly learning and you're constantly trying to make your skills better. And that's all I'm trying to do at this point is make myself better, make my skill set better so I could be a better developer. So I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Deuces. Yeah.